In this video, we will see how you can use practice test to figure out where you stand on your exam preparation. We will see what to expect on the exam day and review different types of exam questions. I am sure by now you will be ready to take exam. To check if you are ready for the exams, please take practice test from Amazon and assess your progress based on how much you can score. Practice tests include a series of sample exam questions delivered in a timed environment. Associate certification practice test includes 20 questions and you are expected to complete them in 30 minutes. It does not come free. You will have to pay 20 US dollars for using the practice test. Not to forget, Amazon testing partner is Criterion. To create your account, go to webassessor.com slash aws under the getting started section create a web assessor account by clicking account creation link after creating the user account log in and register for the practice exam by paying 20 dollars when you register for actual exam you will have to follow the same process you cannot use amazon website or your aws credentials to register or buy any kind of exams including practice test. If you have managed to score more than 90% in your practice test, it is the right time to schedule your certification exam. If you have scored less than 90%, you will need to repeat your study with focus on low scoring areas or your weak areas. The benefit of practice test is that you will receive an overall score and the breakup score for each section of the test which will help you to identify areas to improve and also idea on where to focus more before the real exam. Here is the good news. If you don't want to spend $20 on this exam, you can use exam simulator from awspro.academy for free. AWS Pro Academy simulator allows you to try 20 questions same as AWS practice test by just providing your email address. It has all features like real exam and at the end you can see your score with correct answers and detailed explanation. Go ahead and sign up at awspro.academy for free practice test. Again it's awspro.academy. Hope you scored more than 90% in the practice test. Let's move on to the real exam. We will see what to expect on the exam day and review different types of exam questions. The registration fee for associate exam is 150 US dollars. Again, you have to register through web assessor site and select a date and time and also criterion examination center which is nearby you. I don't want to go through the basic logistics of the exam like what to bring and what not. In general, you are not allowed to carry any materials including food, laptop, backpacks, notepads, watch or other personal equipments to the test area. They will provide a writing paper and pencil which you must return after your exam and before you leave the test area. Let's move on to the actual exam specific information. In the exam, you will get 60 multiple choice and multiple answer questions and will be provided 80 minutes to complete them. Let's see sample of different question types now. Here is the sample of multiple choice with single best option question types. Here you may have 4 to 5 options to choose from. Select one option that best answer the question or complete a statement. There is a radio button next to the option which you can select and click next to move on and it will not allow you to select more than one option. Selecting one option is much easier than when you need to select multiple options. The next question type is multiple response pattern. In multiple response type you will need to select more than one option that best answer the question or completes the statement. Next to the question, you can see number of selection or choices 
which you need to select for that particular question. In this example, it is given choose two answers. Sometime you may need to select even three or four options for certain questions. This question asks you to choose all the available choices that correctly apply to a situation. Because you must choose every correct option or multiple option in order to get the question answered correct and to get scored correctly in this question. These questions are extremely difficult to guess. Remember, you don't get partial score for just selecting one or more right options. Even if you select one wrong option out of two or three, you will not get any additional score. Now let's move on to scenario based. I am sure you have noticed that I have mentioned multiple times scenario based questions during my last session where we reviewed the exam topics or sections from an exam guide. These questions are commonly referred to as case study questions. The basic idea is that the exam will provide you the long and detailed scenario, typically a case study, and then ask you a question based on that scenario. Here is an example of it. Sometimes you may get a scenario question with 8 to 10 lines or a table with the given details which you will need to analyze. Also, you may need to select multiple options as we seen earlier. Either it is a small or long, it is a time killer in the exam which requires you to focus and understand before answering. Since you get only 80 minutes for answering 60 questions, it is very important to keep up with clock and not to get trapped with scenario based questions. One good thing, the exam provides you an option to mark questions for review by checking a checkbox for the questions to be listed for review at later stage and move on to the next one. Once you are done with all the questions, you can again go back to those questions which mark for review and work on them. I highly recommended you to use this approach for scenario based questions which you cannot answer within minutes and need time to analyze and understand before answering. We all know elimination is the best approach for scoring in test. For example, if there is a multiple choice question as a four possible answers and you are able to eliminate two of those answers, then you improve your odds of guessing the correct answer from 25 to 50 percent. One last thing, regardless of the type of questions, however, you should always guess when you don't know how to answer the question because AWS does not impose a penalty for incorrect guesses, which means no negative marking. So you don't leave any single question unanswered. You never know when a single correct guess might be just enough to put you over the pass or fail threshold. As we talk about the pass fail threshold, AWS does not publish exam passing scores because exam questions and passing scores are subjected to change without notice. Based on my knowledge, the passing score is in between 65 to 70 percent. Targeting more than 70 percent is the best bet. If you need any more information regarding the exam, please visit aws.amazon.com slash certification slash FAQs. If you like to receive sample exam questions and exam tips, please sign up our newsletter at signup.awspro.academy. Again, signup.awspro.academy. Don't forget to check out other sections of our website where you can find free resources like study guides, video courses, and sample exam simulator. Thank you for your time and hope you enjoy this session. Good luck with your AWS certification exam preparation.